Yes, guys. So we'll write one more function to verify whether the user number is a even or odd. Like verifying, okay? Verifying, verifying, verifying a uh, even or, or odd number. Even or odd number. Okay. So here, first of all, take the again user data input of uh, right enter any number. Enter right enter any number. Then take into the integer format. So we take the int int function. Next, take suppose uh, some num guys now. That's all. Right. Now uh, def take here suppose uh, even even r right r odd function name is a uh, uh, take or else uh, the function name is a uh, which one uh, is a uh, even or odd uh, is even or odd for example like this okay we take the dummy uh, block uh, then uh, take the function call is a uh, even even r uh, r odd that's all okay so that user uh, your the user giving suppose the 10 guys now user giving the 10 the 10 assigned to which variable now assigned to num means the num we have the data right in the num we have the data the data that's why in the function call we use the num num right in the function definition as a formal argument we can use the same name here also we can use the num or else we can use any different name also no problem i'll take the a here Right, a yeah. now implement the body now implement the body now what's the a value what is a value suppose guys uh, uh what is the a value see now i take the i take here print of right print of a and also i'm verifying here num also here print of a num let us see now let us see whether uh, both are same or not here i'm giving the 10 now oh 20 right uh, see guys actually the previous program is not commented. That's why it's also executing again. That's all. Now run it again. Any number I am giving uh, 10 guys here. See 10, uh, 10 here means so see here. So I am giving the 10, right? I am giving 10, uh, the same 10 uh, assigned to uh, uh, the same, right? Same 10 assigned to two, uh, Sent to the num so that's why print of num means uh, what came now output uh, 10 displayed okay outside the function inside the function also what happened here the same num only the same right the same num only i am sending to a in the function uh, function definition uh, function body i am using a now also same value is there now also what is there now also you have the which value right same value right Okay, same value is there fine now but uh, i don't want display just a uh, print a i want to check it first of all whether even or odd then I'll take here if if a a modulus 2 w equal to 0 if uh, the number w uh, modulus 2 equal to 0 that means uh, it is even number right uh, so i take it now here print uh, please folder is a uh, even number is even number then I'll take here dot format of uh, uh what it take now we take the a else right else we'll take here print off okay print off uh, then we take here placeholder is a uh, odd right odd number right odd number then we take here dot format of okay uh dot dot format of we'll take here yeah that's all okay let us try now let us try here i am giving a uh, suppose 12 so 12 is a even number and 12 also displaying why displaying here you are taking the print of num i am giving 13 now i am giving here right 13 13 okay uh, 13 13 is a odd number 13 is a odd number okay <clears throat> So how it executes means observe all of you. Observe here. Ah. So I am taking the number 13, right? Number 13 now. So that number 13, right? Assigned to which variable now? 
assign to which variable assign to the right num variable assign to the right num so 13 is coming here by which function by input function only guys now by input function that number coming okay so it has sent here now what's the num value 13 13 okay now let uh, next one now uh, it also uh, define the memory now num1 create in the memory def uh, this function also uh, created in the memory next what is there now function call right function call is there is uh, so now in function call uh, when i execute this one check it now whether both the function call name function defini definition name same or not so here both are same right both are same then automatically that num value will assign here the num value come here right num value came here then now the same num value go to the a also go to the a now what's the num value actually here num value is 13 right 13 the same 13 now so 13 now is going here also not the a value now 13 now, right now if 13 modulus t equal 0 true or false false then go to else block go to else block then so placeholder is odd number what's placeholder value a value what's a value here right 13 13 then that 13 right 13 will place here 13 now guys observe here the 13 okay 13 is placing here so finally the output is the output now 13 13 is a odd number that's what coming in the output guys now 13 is a odd number that's all 13 is odd number okay so see when i want to verify multiple values one by one see first of all i tried it for i am trying 13 i want to check it now 15 also for example i want to check it right 15 okay i want to check it uh, suppose that 20 also okay 20 is the even number okay i want to check it to suppose 25 also see means what's happening here for checking every value every value so i'm running the function right I'm running the function I'm running the function right now what i want now this entire this entire uh, program i want to run uh, automatically for every time then uh, simply what do i do will take here uh, i want to repeat multiple times uh, multiple times as long as it is true right uh, so always true only. it's always true only now that's all guys now right now let us try here let us try now oh sorry it also should move it's also should be taken yes correct <clears throat> right see now see the difference uh, between before and now guys here i'm taking any number i'm giving 10 now see now uh this is a 10 verification over again asking any number other number i want to check multiple uh, 11 uh, okay i want to check uh, 19 also okay uh 19 odd number it's saying very clear right uh, uh, after every after every output i want some space uh, empty line then guys now we'll take here normally print uh, that's all an empty printer uh, right now all of you observe here i am taking out 20 yes 20 is a even number again automatically asking enter any number because uh, so first time the loop over the loop over automatically again second time loop started uh, the loop only what's first one uh, the loop only first what is there enter number is there that's what asking now. so i am giving some number i am giving suppose 21 right 21 uh, if i click enter right uh, then 21 uh, commonly uh, it assign here it go to the variable right it go to variable and uh, sorry okay it go to the variable right variable then uh, uh, it come here that go here it add to the a then uh, verify the condition true or false uh, right uh, it is a uh, false uh, then go to else block uh, and execute this one uh, finally what comes now here this output display output display right output display and uh, the block over now right the block execution over once the block execution over again now what happens now again next 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 one again uh, next iteration next iteration now again start uh, uh, entry over number same it repeats always uh, it repeats always uh, okay because guys here there's no possibility of false always true only i specify to directly that's why so it keep on executes infinite times guys now it keep on ask you enter any number n number of times i am giving 21 uh, over again next block i am giving 22 right uh, some number i'm giving give any number you can see like this guys now 
He's asking me right here. He's asking me that, sir. See, that's all. <laughs> okay, no ending here. No ending because uh, there is no possibility of failure is false. Always true only. So to verify multiple times, guys, now we can take like this. Uh, 